Have you ever wondered how to attach antennas to your router or other mobile device? Your antenna leads, for example, can you use pliers? Can you use a wrench? Or do you just use your hand? Today's quick tip video will have some uh, suggestions on the best way to accomplish this. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center. Uh, if you're using a mobile router or other mobile internet gear, chances are you're going to have to hook up antennas. Either you're going to have to hook up the standard paddle antennas like this, or you're going to have an external or uh, other type of antenna that uses cables with connectors that are going to hook to your device. Now, how should you hook these up? Obviously, they screw into these antenna ports. For cellular connections, most of the time these are going to be SMA ports, which uh, have a little connector on them, and they screw in just like that, and you can hand tight them, but they also have a little hex on them, which means that you can fit a wrench on them, or you can even fit pliers, but should you do that? And the answer is no, you should not. These are very delicate connectors, and for most people, you should just hand tighten them. They are not designed to be cranked down like a bolt on a vehicle um, or like you're um, cranking down a, a nut to keep something in place. Now, these do have torque specifications. So if you do have the proper equipment, a torque wrench, um, if it's a brass connection, you can torque that down to between three and five inch pounds of force, or you can torque it down if it's a stainless steel connector to between seven and 10 inch pounds for an SMA connector. If you have a different type of connector, you should look up the specifications for the torque setting and make sure you're using the proper torque wrench to uh, torque those and tighten those down correctly as you should with uh, every connector. But for most users out there, the proper way to do it is just to hand tighten it. And this is going to work uh, perfectly well for 95% of people out there. Now, for those of us who travel in vans, boats, and RVs, things jiggle and shake as you're going down the road or over the water, and things might get loose. So you do want to periodically check your connectors to make sure that they are still tight and you can check those by hand. Now there are also these um, uh, paddle connectors and they do not have the uh, wrench attachment. They are tightened only with your hand. You do not torque these down. But you do have to be careful not to um, twist this upper part when tightening them and to just uh, use the bottom base there because as you can see when I was trying one I actually broke one and now it's hanging free when I was trying to put this one on and now I have the tape of shame to try to keep this antenna upright because I broke it trying to twist it like this when I was putting it on. So a lot of these antennas can be delicate. It's important when you take them on and off that you do so from the base and do it carefully so you don't break the antenna um, and have to use the tape of shame like I do. So that's basically it for this quick tip video. It's very important that you put the connectors on correctly. Do not use pliers. Do not use a typical wrench. If you are technically inclined and have the proper equipment to uh, be able to use those finite torque settings, then you can use a torque wrench to the proper specifications as defined uh, by the uh, connector that you are using. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments on uh, any of your own connector issues, you can leave a comment uh, down below. And we have a lot more information on connectors in our dedicated connector guide. And we also have more videos on connectors and everything mobile internet related here on the YouTube channel, as well as on our website. 
So we appreciate you watching and we'll catch you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and bring these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.